Hello, my name is Isaiah, and today I wanted to share my testimony of how Jesus Christ changed my life. So, to start out, I was born and raised in the church, and I have gone to church with my family every Sunday ever since I can remember. And so I learned all the stories, and I went to church all the time, but I had never really heard the gospel. I never understood what that was, why Jesus was on the cross. I learned that he went on the cross, but I didn't learn why. And so in, after fourth grade, my family moved to Reading, and I was a new kid at a new school, and all I worried about was fitting in because, I mean, sometimes it's, it's hard to be a new kid when you're little. So all I did was try to fit in, and in that environment, that involved using dirty language and dirty joking and that kind of stuff. But that never really bothered me as long as I didn't get in trouble. I didn't think about it again. Um, and so I was a sinner. <laughs> and after a couple years in seventh grade, things started to ramp up. I switched schools. I went to a different school and was around a different group of people. One of which I remember the most was my friend Jack. He was the first person who ever told me, don't talk like that and don't tell those kind of jokes. That's not okay. And that kind of got to me. And at that point, my family hadn't been going to church for several months. We had a church, but we had stopped going. So uh, we hadn't gone to church. But after that, I, I started asking my family if we could start trying to find a church again. Because I was just, I'd been born in the church and I was so used to it. I, uh, I was like, I wanted to do it. I wanted to go to church some more. And and soon enough, that weekend, we began our search for a church. And the first church we went to, the Reading First Baptist Church, is where we stuck. And for that year of seventh grade, I was, I was learning all kinds of stuff. I learned what sin was and how bad it was and why Jesus died on the cross for our sin. And I started learning all those things. And as I was getting older, I finally really understood what all that meant. And so... It was that year of learning that really set things off because that summer at Heartland Christian Camp is a camp that I had gone to several years before. And um, so I every year they have a testament, they have a gospel uh, share, they share the gospel one night during the week and I had heard it several times before but I really never understood it but it was that year after learning and being in a new environment I had understood that I was a sinner and because of my sin I had separated myself from God and I caused Jesus Christ to go on that cross and that because Jesus Christ died on the cross that I could although I was separated from God I was still able to enter heaven and I, that night, I repented of my sins. I said, Lord, I'm sorry for doing all these bad things, and I don't want to do that anymore. And I accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior and my Lord. And uh, after that, I was changed. Um, beforehand, I was kind of complacent about sin or anything like that, like the dirty jokes or the dirty language. And... Um, ever since then, if I slip up and do a sin, even if I don't get caught, I feel really bad about it. And I just try my hardest not to sin anymore. And I am just so grateful that the Lord saved me and gave me the opportunity to go to heaven, even though I had done so wrong. And I just, I want to share that with everybody. And I hope that this present, this testimony can reach somebody out there who is on the edge or isn't sure about Christ or anything like that. Hopefully this can reach them and uh, just let them know that being saved by the Lord is the best thing ever. It's an awesome feeling and it's it changes your life. And so hopefully this reaches somebody out there. And that's all I have to share. Thank you for listening.